The Power of Reflection Unlocking the Mirror Technique Introduction Imagine standing before an ancient mirror, its surface not only reflecting your image, but the essence of your soul. For centuries, mystics, sages, and seekers have used the mirror to peer beyond the physical, to see not just their reflection, but the very core of their being. In ancient Egypt, mirrors were believed to be portals to the divine. In Greece, philosophers would gaze into them, searching for deeper truths. And in some cultures, mirrors were thought to be gateways to alternate dimensions, windows to the unseen. What if I told you that this same power, this same potential, is available to you? That within your mirror lies not only a reflection of your face, but of your inner power, your true self, the I am, that has the ability to shape your reality. Welcome to The Power of Reflection, where we will explore an ancient yet profoundly simple tool that has the potential to transform your life, the mirror technique. In this audiobook, you will discover how the mirror can help you connect with the deepest parts of yourself, break through limiting beliefs, and manifest the life you desire. This isn't just about self-reflection in the literal sense, but about tapping into the mystical and metaphysical forces that have long guided humanity. You will learn how to use the mirror as a powerful tool for manifestation, healing, and self-empowerment. You'll hear how ancient cultures understood the significance of reflection, and how modern science supports the practice of using mirrors to reshape your mind and emotions. But more than that, you'll experience how the mirror becomes a portal, a gateway to your I am presence. Your I am is not just a phrase or a concept. It is your creative force, the purest essence of who you are. When you declare I am, you are not simply describing yourself. You are calling into existence what you wish to be, to do, and to have. As you listen to this audiobook, I invite you to see your mirror, not as an ordinary object, but as a sacred tool, a tool that can reveal to you everything that you are and everything that you are becoming. Let's begin this journey and together unlock the power of the mirror. Chapter 1 a journey through the mirror, historical and mystical origins. The mirror has always held a unique place in the human experience, transcending its practical use as a mere object of reflection. Across centuries and cultures, mirrors have been revered as mystical tools imbued with symbolic meaning and spiritual power. Let us begin in ancient Egypt, where mirrors were not just tools of vanity, but sacred objects. These polished discs of copper and bronze were believed to hold the light of the sun, God Ra, the very source of life itself. To gaze into a mirror in this ancient culture was to commune with divine light, to see not just the reflection of one's outer form, but the reflection of the soul. Mirrors were placed in tombs, symbolizing the soul's passage into the afterlife guiding spirits toward enlightenment. In ancient Greece, the philosopher Socrates encouraged his students to use mirrors not merely to see themselves, but to know themselves. Know thyself. These words, etched into the temple at Delphi, were a guiding principle for self-inquiry. Mirrors became tools for deep contemplation, a way of exploring the inner self. For the Greeks, the reflection was more than skin deep. It was a window into one's character, thoughts, and destiny. Travel to the East, and we find that mirrors were used in feng shui practices to reflect and redirect energy. In ancient China, bronze mirrors were considered to have the power to ward off evil spirits, acting as protectors of the soul. The Taoists believed that the mirror could reveal unseen forces, making it not only a tool for protection, but one for revealing hidden truths. And in mystical traditions like alchemy, 
the mirror represented transformation, a symbol of the soul's journey from ignorance to enlightenment. Alchemists often spoke of the mirror as a way to reflect both the physical and spiritual states, recognizing that as above, so below, as within, so without. To peer into a mirror was to peer into the depths of the self, to see both the shadows and the light. Over time, the mirror has been a symbol of truth, able to reveal what is hidden, both literally and metaphorically. But beyond its historical significance, the mirror offers something far more profound. It offers us an opportunity to confront our own reflection, to come face to face with our I am, that inner essence that transcends the external image we project to the world. This is where the metaphysical clutter comes into play. The layers of doubt, insecurity, and limiting beliefs that cloud our perception of who we truly are. We collect these limitations over time, through experiences, societal expectations, and the beliefs of others. They form a veil over the mirror, distorting what we see when we look at ourselves. But just as the mirror can show us these distortions, it also holds the power to clear them. It allows us to strip away the false narratives and see ourselves as we truly are, pure potential, divine creators of our reality. When you look into the mirror with intention, you aren't just seeing your physical form. You are witnessing your inner truth. Throughout history, mystics have used mirrors to access deeper realms of consciousness, to reflect the soul's journey. This is the essence of the mirror technique that you are about to learn. It is about reclaiming the truth of who you are, beyond the clutter, beyond the limiting beliefs. It is about looking into the mirror and seeing your highest self reflected back at you. As you continue on this journey, you'll discover that the mirror is more than a reflective surface. It's a portal, one that can lead you to profound personal transformation. But to walk through this portal, you must first be willing to confront your reflection. You must be willing to see yourself not as the world sees you, but as you truly are, powerful, creative, and full of possibility. The mirror has always been with us, waiting patiently to reveal its secrets. And now, it is your time to unlock its power. Chapter 2 The Science Behind the Mirror Technique The Mind-Body Connection While the mirror has long held a place in mystical traditions, modern science now confirms what ancient wisdom has known for millennia. The mind, the body, and the reflection are deeply interconnected. The mirror, it turns out, is not just a symbol. It's a tool with profound psychological and physiological effects. The idea of using a mirror to change the way we think about ourselves isn't new, but science has begun to reveal just how powerful this tool can be. Studies in neuroscience and psychology have shown that what we see in the mirror affects not only our perception of ourselves, but our brain's ability to rewire itself. This is called neuroplasticity, the brain's capacity to change and adapt throughout life. When you stand before a mirror and speak positive affirmations, you are not just changing the way you see yourself. You are literally rewiring your brain. The mirror acts as a feedback loop. As you say, I am confident, or I am powerful, and look yourself in the eye, your brain begins to form new neural pathways. Over time, these pathways become stronger, and your self-belief becomes ingrained, shifting your mindset, behavior, and even your reality. The mirror technique taps into the power of self-affirmation, a well-researched concept in psychology. Studies have shown that repeating affirmations, especially when combined with seeing yourself in the mirror, can improve self-esteem, increase emotional resilience, and reduce stress. In essence, when you look into the mirror and declare, I am, 
you are sending a powerful message to both your conscious and subconscious mind. And here's where the I am philosophy comes into play. I am is more than just a phrase, it is a creative force. The words I am are a declaration of being. They are not merely a description of your current state, but a proclamation of what you are becoming. In spiritual and metaphysical traditions, the phrase I am is seen as an invocation of divine power. When you say I am, you are calling forth the creative energy that shapes your reality. Consider this. When you say, I am tired, you reinforce your tiredness, not just in your mind, but in your body. But when you say, I am energized, while looking into the mirror, your brain begins to shift its focus. It starts to align your thoughts and emotions with the energy of vitality, helping you feel more awake, more alive. The mirror serves as a tool for aligning your inner beliefs with your outer reality. You see, the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination. It accepts whatever you tell it as truth. When you look in the mirror and say, I am abundant, I am loved, or I am capable, your subconscious mind begins to shape your perception of the world according to these truths. This is the power of the mirror technique. It creates a bridge between the conscious and subconscious mind, allowing you to transform your self-image and, in turn, your external world. The reflection staring back at you is not just a passive image. It is an active participant in shaping your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. This is why it is so important to engage with the mirror intentionally, to use it as a tool for empowerment rather than a surface for judgment. When you look into the mirror, you are engaging in a conversation with your deepest self, and as you affirm your I am, you are stepping into the role of the creator of your own reality. So, as you begin to practice the mirror technique, remember this. You are not just looking at your reflection. You are looking at your potential, your possibilities, and your power. Each time you stand in front of that mirror, you are given an opportunity to declare what you are becoming. Now that we understand the science behind the mirror technique and the I am principle, let's explore how we can use this knowledge to manifest our desires, to bring forth our dreams from the realm of possibility into reality. Chapter 3. The Mirror as a Portal for Manifestation now that we understand how the mirror connects the mind and body, let's take this knowledge a step further. Imagine the mirror not only as a reflection of your current self, but as a portal, one that can bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be. When used with intention, the mirror becomes a powerful tool for manifestation, aligning your inner reality with the outer world. Manifestation is not just about wishful thinking. It is about consciously shaping your reality by aligning your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs with your desires. The process begins with your I am, the internal declaration of what you are claiming to be. When you say I am, you are aligning your entire being with that state, and the mirror allows you to reinforce this alignment through both visual and verbal cues. Here's how the mirror works as a portal for manifestation. First, when you stand before the mirror, you are quite literally looking at the face of the one who will create your future. This is the first and most important step, recognizing that you are the source of your manifestations. You are not separate from the things you want to create or attract. The mirror serves as a reminder that everything you desire is already within you, waiting to be brought forth. The second step in using the mirror for manifestation is to engage your senses, sight, sound, and emotion, so that your mind and body become fully aligned with your desired state. 
when you look into the mirror and affirm, I am successful, I am loved, or I am abundant, you are not just speaking empty words. You are directing your subconscious mind to accept these declarations as truth. And when you can see yourself speaking these affirmations in the mirror, the power of your words is magnified. Think of the mirror as a portal that allows your desires to move from the realm of possibility into the physical world. Each time you stand in front of the mirror and say, I am, you are opening that portal. You are summoning your desired reality into being. This is not just a metaphor. It is a practice grounded in metaphysical laws, such as the law of assumption and the law of attraction. The law of assumption teaches us that whatever you assume to be true will eventually become your reality. When you look into the mirror and assume the state of your desire, whether it's confidence, abundance, health, or love, you are aligning with that reality. The mirror allows you to visualize it, to feel it, and most importantly, to embody it. Take a moment to think about this. When you see your reflection declaring these truths, the gap between your current self and your future self begins to close. The more you see yourself as the person who already has what you desire, the more your outer world begins to rearrange itself to match that inner state. This is the true power of the mirror as a manifestation tool. It serves as a portal that reflects back to you not only what you are, but what you are becoming. Let's try a simple exercise. Stand in front of your mirror, take a deep breath, and focus on one specific desire. What is it that you want to manifest? Whether it's a new job, better health, a relationship, or even peace of mind, choose one thing that you want to bring into your life. Now, Look directly into your own eyes in the mirror. As you do, declare with confidence, I am deserving of, insert your desire. I am attracting your desire. I am already aligned with your desire. Feel the emotion of having it already. Let that feeling rise in your chest, as though your desire is already yours. See yourself as the person who has already achieved it. Do this every day and watch as the reflection in the mirror begins to change, not just physically, but energetically. As your internal world shifts, your external reality will follow. As you continue to use the mirror technique, remember that manifestation is a process of alignment. The mirror is not a magical object in itself but it is a powerful tool that helps you align your inner beliefs, emotions, and thoughts with the reality you want to create. The more consistently you practice, the more you'll see shifts in your life. Small at first, perhaps, but eventually profound. The mirror will reveal not only who you are, but who you are becoming and who you are meant to be. In the next section, we'll explore how to break through limiting beliefs, those blocks that can interfere with your manifestation process, and how to clear the metaphysical clutter that distorts your reflection and keeps you from realizing your full potential. Chapter 4. Breaking Through Limiting Beliefs As you embark on your journey with the mirror technique, you may notice that certain thoughts, emotions, or beliefs arise standing in the way of fully embracing the practice. These are your limiting beliefs, the invisible barriers that shape your reality in ways you may not even be aware of. They are the stories you've told yourself or that others have told you about who you are and what you're capable of. Limiting beliefs often manifest as thoughts like, I'm not good enough, I'll never be successful, or I don't deserve love. These thoughts are not reflective of your true self, but are rather a byproduct of past experiences, societal conditioning, and emotional wounds. Over time, they accumulate, creating what we call 
metaphysical clutter, a layer of beliefs and energies that distort your true reflection. When you look into the mirror, you are not only seeing your physical self, but also this energetic clutter that clouds your vision of who you truly are. This is why mirror work can sometimes feel uncomfortable. It forces you to confront the layers of self-doubt, fear, and insecurity that have built up over time. But here's the important part. The mirror does not lie. It shows you exactly what you need to see. Not to judge yourself, but to heal. It reveals these limiting beliefs so that you can bring them to the surface, acknowledge them, and then release them. The first step in breaking through limiting beliefs is awareness. The next time you stand in front of the mirror and begin your affirmations, pay attention to any resistance that arises. Do you feel a twinge of doubt when you say, I am abundant? Does something inside you push back when you affirm, I am deserving of love? These feelings are signals from your subconscious mind, pointing to the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Recognize that these beliefs are not the truth. They are simply learned behaviors. And just as they were learned, they can be unlearned. Let's begin the process of releasing them with a simple but powerful practice. The Mirror Technique for Clearing Limiting Beliefs Step 1 is to stand in front of your mirror, as always, and look directly into your eyes. This time, instead of jumping into positive affirmations, start by acknowledging any resistance you feel. Say aloud, I see you. Address the fear, the doubt, or the insecurity directly. I see you, and I release you. You might feel emotional during this process, and that's perfectly natural. Emotions are energy in motion, and by acknowledging them, you are allowing that energy to move through you and out of your system. You are clearing the metaphysical clutter. Next, begin to rewrite the narrative. For each limiting belief that surfaces, replace it with an empowering truth. If the belief is, I'm not good enough, counter it with, I am more than enough. If the belief is, I don't deserve success, respond with, I am deserving of all the success I desire. And do this while looking directly into your reflection. See the version of yourself who is free from these limiting beliefs. You are using the mirror not just to see your reflection, but to create a new one, one that aligns with your highest self, free from the chains of self-doubt. Over time, this practice will become easier. The more you clear away the limiting beliefs, the more the mirror will reveal your true, authentic self. And as this happens, your affirmations will carry even more power because they will no longer be in conflict with your internal beliefs. But remember, breaking through limiting beliefs is not a one-time event. It is a process a journey of continual self-discovery and release. Each time you engage with the mirror, you have an opportunity to go deeper, to release more of what no longer serves you, and to step more fully into your I am. This practice is not only about manifesting your desires, but also about healing. Healing the wounds of the past, the false narratives that have kept you small, and the patterns of thought that have kept you from living in your fullest potential. Through this process, the mirror becomes a tool for profound transformation, not just in your external reality, but in the way you see yourself. It is through this clarity, this alignment with your true self, that your manifestations will flow effortlessly. In the next section, we will take this a step further exploring mystical rituals and practices that can enhance your mirror work and help you amplify the power of your affirmations. Chapter 5. Mystical Rituals and Enhancing Your Mirror Work Now that you have a foundation for using the mirror to break through limiting beliefs and manifest your desires, 
it's time to take your practice to the next level. The mirror is a powerful tool on its own, but when combined with certain mystical rituals, it becomes even more potent. These rituals help you to infuse your practice with sacred energy, setting the stage for deeper reflection, healing, and manifestation. For centuries, spiritual practitioners have used rituals to enhance the mirror's power, understanding that the right environment and intention can open portals to greater realms of consciousness. By incorporating simple yet profound practices into your mirror work, you can amplify your connection to your I am and magnify your ability to create your desired reality. The first element to consider is lighting. Leiting plays a significant role in many mystical traditions, especially in mirror work. Dim, soft light, particularly candlelight, creates an atmosphere of calm and focus, helping you to enter a more meditative state. The flicker of a candle's flame has long been associated with the element of fire, which represents transformation and the burning away of the old to make way for the new. To enhance your mirror work, light a candle before your practice. As you gaze into the mirror, allow the soft glow to illuminate your face and your reflection. In this sacred light, your affirmations will take on new meaning, as if the flame is activating the energy of your intentions. As you light the candle, you might say an invocation such as, With this light, I invite clarity, power, and manifestation into my reflection. This simple act sets the intention that your mirror work is sacred and that you are opening a space for transformation. Next, consider incorporating crystals into your practice. Crystals have been used for thousands of years to enhance a spiritual energy, each one resonating with a different frequency. Placing crystals around your mirror can amplify the energy of your affirmations and help clear any lingering energetic blocks. For example, rose quartz is known as the stone of unconditional love, making it an excellent companion for self-love and healing work in front of the mirror. If you are working on manifesting abundance, consider using citrine, which is associated with prosperity and success. Amethyst, with its connection to intuition and spiritual growth, can help deepen your connection to your higher self. Simply place the crystal on the surface in front of the mirror or hold it in your hand as you speak your affirmations. Imagine its energy amplifying your words, radiating them into the universe and bringing your desires closer to reality. Another powerful enhancement for mirror work is the use of moon phases. The moon has a long history in mystical traditions, symbolizing cycles of growth, release, and renewal. Aligning your mirror work with the phases of the moon can add a cosmic dimension to your practice, syncing your manifestations with the natural ebb and flow of energy. The new moon is the perfect time for setting intentions and beginning new manifestations. It represents a time of fresh starts and planting seeds. Use the mirror during the new moon to declare what you want to grow in your life. This is the moment to say, I am planting the seeds of abundance, love, and success. As the moon waxes or grows, it represents the building momentum of your desires. Continue your mirror work during this phase, affirming your desires with increasing certainty and clarity. The full moon is the culmination of energy, the time when what was started during the new moon reaches its peak. It is a time for reflection and gratitude. Use the full moon to stand before the mirror and affirm, I am grateful for all that is manifesting in my life. I am aligned with the fullness of my desires. Finally, during the waning moon, as the moon begins to decrease in size, use this phase to release any limiting beliefs or blocks that have surfaced 
during your mirror practice. The waning moon is a time for letting go. So look into the mirror and say, I release all that no longer serves me. I let go of fear, doubt, and resistance. By working with the moon's energy, you align your mirror work with the natural cycles of the universe, adding another layer of power to your manifestations. You can also incorporate incense or essential oils into your ritual. Certain scents, like lavender, sandalwood, or frankincense, have long been used in spiritual practices to enhance focus and create a peaceful atmosphere. Before beginning your mirror work, light some incense or diffuse essential oils to calm your mind and invite a higher state of consciousness. As the scent fills the air, Allow yourself to fully arrive in the present moment, creating a sacred space where you and your intentions can thrive. Finally, the most powerful enhancement you can bring to your mirror work is intention. The more intention and focus you pour into your practice, the more effective it becomes. As you look into the mirror, remember that you are not just seeing a reflection. You are seeing a portal to your highest self to the reality you are creating. When you perform these mystical rituals, you are signaling to the universe and to your subconscious that this is sacred work. You are affirming that your desires are worthy of attention and energy, and the universe will respond. Take a moment now to imagine your next mirror session. See yourself standing before the mirror, the soft glow of candlelight reflecting back at you crystals nearby, the scent of incense filling the air. You gaze into your own eyes, seeing not just your reflection, but your soul, your potential, your I am. Feel the energy of your desires gathering around you, ready to manifest into your reality. In the next chapter, we will explore how to live from this place of I am, every day beyond your mirror work and how to align your entire life with the truth of your highest self. Chapter 6. Beyond the Mirror. Living the I Am Reality. The mirror is a powerful tool, but the true magic lies in integrating what you've learned from your mirror practice into every part of your life. The goal of the mirror technique is not just to experience fleeting moments of self-awareness or empowerment, while standing in front of your reflection, but to carry that energy with you everywhere you go. It's about living in alignment with your I am reality, so that every action, thought, and interaction is a reflection of your highest self. By now, you've experienced the profound connection between your reflection and your inner being. You've seen how the mirror reveals not only your physical self, but your energetic essence, the truth of who you are. And through your affirmations, you've begun to create a new reality, a reality shaped by your conscious beliefs and desires. But what happens when you step away from the mirror? How can you maintain that same sense of clarity and alignment throughout your day? This is where the real work begins. Living from your I am, is about integrating the awareness and confidence you've gained through the mirror technique into your daily life. It's about shifting your mindset so that you no longer need the mirror to remind you of your power. You embody that power in every moment with every breath. Let's begin with a fundamental principle. Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. When you align with the I am state, your external reality naturally begins to reflect that alignment. If you've affirmed in the mirror, I am confident, your actions throughout the day should mirror that confidence. When you speak to others, when you take on new challenges, or even when you simply walk down the street, carry that confidence with you. Notice how the world around you shifts in response to the energy you're projecting. This doesn't mean forcing yourself to act in ways that feel unnatural. 
Instead, it's about allowing the energy of your I am to guide you. Let your affirmations be your compass. If you affirm, I am abundant, notice how abundance shows up in your life, not just in material wealth, but in opportunities, connections, and moments of joy. Abundance is not just about having more. It's about recognizing the richness of what is already present in your life. The key is to live from a state of awareness. Throughout your day, check in with yourself. Ask, am I living in alignment with my I am? Am I embodying the qualities I've affirmed in the mirror? One practice that can help you stay aligned is what I call the part invisible mirror. Technique. Even when you're not physically standing in front of a mirror, imagine that one is always with you. Picture yourself looking into this invisible mirror throughout the day, asking yourself, how do I see myself right now? This mental check-in will remind you of your affirmations and help you stay connected to your I am energy. For example, if you've been affirming, I am peaceful, but you find yourself in a stressful situation, pause for a moment. Take a deep breath and imagine looking into your invisible mirror. Ask yourself, am I reflecting peace in this moment? By doing this, you can quickly shift back into alignment with your I am state, allowing that peace to guide your response to the situation. Another powerful way to live from your I am is to surround yourself with reminders of your affirmations. Write them down and place them in areas where you'll see them often, on your bathroom mirror, your desk, or even your phone's lock screen. These reminders serve as gentle nudges throughout the day, keeping you focused on the reality you are creating. Remember, the universe responds to the energy you put out. When you consistently embody your I am state, you'll begin to see your external reality shift in remarkable ways. Opportunities will arise, challenges will dissolve, and the people around you will notice a change in your energy. You are no longer reacting to the world from a place of lack or limitation. You are creating your world from a place of power and possibility. But what about those moments when you slip out of alignment? It's inevitable. There will be times when you fall back into old patterns, when doubts or fears resurface. The key is not to judge yourself in these moments, but to gently guide yourself back to your I am truth. When this happens, simply pause, take a deep breath, and reconnect with the energy of the mirror technique. You can even close your eyes and visualize yourself standing in front of the mirror, speaking your affirmations with confidence and clarity. Remind yourself that you are always in control of your state of being and that you have the power to shift back into alignment at any moment. Living from your I am reality is a daily practice. It's not something you do once and then forget about. It requires conscious effort, but the rewards are profound. As you continue to embody your affirmations, you will notice that life flows with greater ease. Challenges that once seemed overwhelming will feel manageable. Situations that once triggered stress or fear will no longer hold the same power over you. You will begin to see yourself not just as a participant in life, but as the creator of it. In the final section of this audiobook, we will bring everything together and guide you through a meditation to cement your connection to your I am state. This meditation will help you fully embody the power of the mirror technique, not just as a practice, but as a way of living. Conclusion. Reflecting on your new self. A closing meditation. Now that you've explored the power of the mirror technique, it's time to bring everything together. In this closing meditation, we will anchor the lessons you've learned and help you fully integrate the energy of your I am 
into your daily life. Find a comfortable, quiet space where you won't be disturbed. If possible, sit or stand in front of a mirror. But if not, simply close your eyes and visualize your reflection. Take a deep breath in and slowly let it out. Again, breathe in deeply and release. With each breath, feel your body relaxing. Let go of any tension in your shoulders, your jaw, your neck. Allow your mind to become still. As you breathe, imagine yourself standing in front of a mirror. See your reflection as clearly as if you were physically there. Notice the way you look, but more importantly, notice the energy that you are radiating. Now, shift your focus from your physical appearance to the essence of who you are. As you gaze into your reflection, you see the truth of your being, your I am. This is not just your reflection. It is the reflection of your highest self, your infinite potential, your purest essence. In this moment, you are completely aligned with the truth of who you are. You are whole. You are powerful. You are the creator of your reality. Take a moment to feel the presence of your I am energy. It is alive within you, in every cell of your body, in every thought, and in every breath. Now, begin to affirm your truth aloud or in your mind. Speak with confidence, as though every word you say is already true. I am worthy. I am abundant. I am love. I am capable. I am whole. Feel the power of these words as they resonate within you. See them reflected back to you from the mirror, amplified by your energy. You are not just saying these words. You are embodying them. You are becoming them. Now take a moment to focus on one specific desire that you want to manifest. It could be a new opportunity, a goal you want to achieve, or a feeling you want to cultivate in your life. As you look into your reflection, declare your desire in the present tense. For example, if you want to attract more abundance, say, I am abundant. If you desire love, say, I am love. Whatever your desire is, affirm it as though it has already manifested. As you speak your affirmation, feel the emotion of having already received your desire. Let that emotion rise in your heart. See it reflected in your face, in your body, in your energy. You are not separate from your desire. It is already within you, waiting to manifest in your external reality. Now, take one final deep breath. And as you exhale, let go of any remaining doubt, fear, or resistance. Release anything that no longer serves you. As you breathe in again, fill yourself with the energy of your I am, pure, powerful, and aligned with your highest truth. When you are ready, gently open your eyes, if they were closed. If you were standing in front of a mirror, take one last look at yourself. See the reflection of your highest self looking back at you, ready to walk with you through the rest of your life. Remember, the mirror is always with you, whether physical or imagined, ready to reflect your truth and guide you on your path. You are the creator of your reality, and your I Am Energy is your greatest tool for manifesting the life you desire. Take this feeling with you as you move forward. Live from this place of power, knowing that everything you seek is already within you, waiting to be expressed. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the mirror technique. May you always see the reflection of your highest self, and may your I am continue to guide you toward all that you desire.